you a little bit about myself, what brought me here to Arkansas. I'm originally from Texas, and I had a lot of goals like you when I was your age, and I was a basketball player. I swam, I played soccer, I played volleyball, I danced, and so forth. I, um, my passion was basketball, so I practiced, and I set goals, and I pushed, and I was short. And a lot of people said, oh, I wanted to go to play college ball. And I was like, I'm going to do this. So every time when I was here, every time I, I, I went home, I dribbled four to 5,000 times a day. Four, thousand, four, four to 5,000 dribbles, just different dribbles. I shot two, 3,000 shots a day. Practice, practice, practice every single day. Practicing and practicing. Well, I ended up getting a scholarship at the University of Arkansas. I played basketball for the Razorbacks a long time ago. A lot of people, when I was working hard, people were like, you're not going to be able to play college basketball because you're too short. All the girls are tall. And I said, ooh, that's going to make me work even harder. So I decided I am going to work even harder than that. So every day I started dribbling six, 7,000 times a day. I mean, six, 7,000 dribbles. Shooting, four to 5,000. I mean, just, just practice, practice, practice. I ate, drank, slept basketball. Of course, my grades had to be in good, you know, because my mom was a school teacher. So I had to have good grades. Grades are important. And so I continued to practice and so forth. Um, you know, and it was a fantastic experience. And my, my wish for y'all is to always follow your dream. Because there may be people that say, you can't do that. No, there's no way you're going to be able to. That's too, that's not realistic. I don't think you can do it. But you've got to believe in your goal and your dream, OK? How many of you eat right? You're funny, you're cute. Okay, now when, uh, when I say eat right, what do you eat? Good, good. I like eating stuff. That's good, good. I like eating rice. Rice, good, that's a good carbohydrate. Blueberries and stuff like that. Very good, very good. Okay, we're gonna come back to the questions here in a second. Now, if you had a choice between a cookie and an orange after school, what would you choose? Now, <laughs> I know y'all are gonna say the orange, but I want you to be truthful, because again, you gotta be honest with yourself. How many of you would choose the orange? Be truthful, truthful, be truthful to yourself. How many of you would choose a cookie? Good, I want you to be honest. Again, if you lie, if you lie again, you're lying to yourself, because again, in order for you to accomplish anything, you gotta be true to yourself. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, how many of you eat breakfast? Now all of y'all should raise your hand. Very good. Did you know breakfast is the most important meal of the day? Yes. yes. If you skip breakfast, you're not gonna have your thinking capacity. I don't raise your hand. No, no, it's okay to have I, I, it's okay to have a coke here and there. A coke here and there. Okay, that's fine. Water, crystal light, water. Crystal light. Crystal Power lights are good. Power water, water, very good. Gatorade, Gatorade. Power very good. Very very good. good. How about Kool Aid? Kool Aid. Kool Aid. Kool Aid's good. Kool Aid's good. How many of you have a sugar craving? You like crave sugar? That's okay. I do too. Trust yeah. me. Ooh, especially that you're active, you can have a cookie here and there, but you want to make sure that your serving size. You don't want to have five cookies. One cookie is acceptable. No, if for some reason you decide you have three cookies, then, then you know what? Go outside, jump some rope, be active, and your body burns it off. It's all about being in tune with your body. It does, again, I tell my clients, it doesn't matter what age you are. You know, if you're 50, 60, 70, or 80, there's always room for improvement. And there's always, you always want to make sure that you're in tune with your body. Do you all go to bed at a, a decent time? Yes. 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 Again, in order for you to function, ladies, you want to have sufficient amount of sleep. So again, eight hours is a good, what time do y'all wake up? Six or seven. Actually have some trial and error. You can, you can enjoy life, but don't spend so many hours playing video games. You know, you want to go and, and have fun outside, you know? What happens if you don't have a computer, if you don't have video games? Then what? Go outside and exercise. Not necessarily exercise, just go have fun, roller skate. 
It doesn't necessarily have to be a job. When I say exercise, I tell my clients, you don't necessarily have to run. Maybe throw a ball up against a wall or, or play dodgeball against yourself, play handball. The more creative you are, I'll ask you your questions in a second. When, when working out, fitness, training, you want to be as creative as possible, for instance. You may decide to go to the park with your dog and you're running with your dog. All of a sudden you stop and say you're going to go ride in the sit-ups. That's something you wouldn't normally do, right? Or go play in the monkey bars. Play in the monkey bars, then go right into like jumping jacks. Have fun with your training. The more creative you are, the less likely you are going to, to be from steering away from workout. You know, you don't want fitness or exercise to be a job. Always have fun skating. How many of you like skating? That skating rink is fantastic, a fantastic exercise. Dancing, that's another thing, dancing. Oh, fantastic exercise. Yes, you can put on some music, go home, dance for an hour. Not only are you working on your coordination skills and so forth, but you're also working on your endurance and your cardiovascular, but balance and agility, because right now, you, got, you guys, your bodies are growing, so that's why it's important to eat right and to be active because you are forming your foundation. This is the foundation that's going to help you as an adult. So what you do right now is very crucial, very crucial. But not pressuring, don't get pressured. I mean, have fun. Don't make exercise. Y'all are so cute, we do not want to get electrocuted. Um, exercise needs to be fun. Okay, so we're all going to stand up. I'll ask you to answer your questions here in a second. Everybody stand up because right now we're getting antsy, I can tell.